All right, guys, so here's the strobe that we're gonna put on here. We got chrome bezels to go on here as well. So this is the Brooking Industries ST3-A. I believe they have the ST6-A we use as well. It's uh, six, six little LEDs you can see on here. There's three LEDs in there. We have ones with six in there too, so we'll be putting these on the top of the tunnel box underneath the pylon, and then we'll be putting ones on the corner of the tailboard and the rear of the truck bed as well. All right, here's these strobes that I was talking about. So this is the ST3A. This is the one we installed on the truck. It's got our three strokes in here. It comes with the black bezel, which we threw away. We're putting chrome bezels on all of them. Um, so, and then this was, this is the ST6A. I just want to show you the difference. Is this has six LEDs on it instead of the three across it like this. So as you can see, it's the same strobe. Comes with all the same stuff, black bezel, everything. But yeah, it's like twice the length has six strobes in there. They're a little closer together, so it's not exactly twice the length, but you got more strobes in there. Uh, a little bit bigger, it does all the same stuff. So this is how I wire them up. This is how you wire them up. So this is your hot, of course it's red. This is your ground, of course it's black. Um, and this is your sink wire. So like I was talking about grouping them, um, when you sync them all together, this is not grouping, syncing. Uh, to sync them all together so that they all communicate with each other and dance back and forth um, or their flash patterns that they're strobing are in sync and doing the same at the same time you need this yellow wire connected to each one of them so all of them have to be connected to each other using this yellow wire and then this is the yellow wire that I leave hanging out for them to, see I got my power probe here, this is how we can apply power right here. I got hooked up to the truck behind me on the battery. So you can supply a ground with the toggle switch or you can supply 12 volt power. And then it's got your little alligator clip on here for your ground. So I can put my ground clamp on the ground here so it'll give me a supply of ground from the truck's battery to the light here just so I can show you guys. And then this is the power, so I'll put power to it if I can uncoil this cord a little better so you can see it a little better. So I can put power to it and it'll just strobe its default settings. So it's just flashing right now. So it just, it goes, it cycles through all the different flash patterns that it does right out of the gate. Now, to, to group them, how I have, you can do group ones and group twos. So like on my grill, uh, I had group two's kitty corner and then group one's kitty corner. So it'll communicate the group one's will be on the same, uh, will be flashing at the same time and group two's will flash at the same time. That's how you get them to alternate. So you'll have group one, group two. Group two's will be going off at the same time and they'll alternate between group one's. Um, and in order to group them, you have to supply power to both of these simultaneously at the same time. So once I do that, you'll see it'll no longer strobe its flash pattern. It'll it'll show a different flash that'll tell you what group it's in. So if it flashes once consecutively, it'll be group one. If it does a, a double flash real quick and does that consecutively, then it's group two. So let's see what it's on. Sometimes, they're usually on group one, so see this is group one. So now to put it in group two, or back to group one if you're already in group two, is you need to, and this is kind of tricky, is you need to supply power to both of them to go at the same time simultaneously, to go into grouping mode. <laughs> Usually it's not this difficult, let's see. So you hold power on both of them to go into grouping mode. See, I like to do this like this so I can pull it away kind of with my other hand. So I'll supply power simultaneously to both of them. You see it's in group one. Now I'll pull the sink wire off. See, and it'll keep, you'll keep showing that it's in group one because I have power still. Here. I still have power going to my red wire. Now, if I touch the sink wire back to it real quick, now see it's flashing twice. Now, all you have to do is just quickly touch that sink to the power again. So now it's back in group one. See that? 
So I have power to the red this entire time. So touch the yellow again. Now we're back in group two. Okay? Now to enter that, again, you have to supply power to both of them simultaneously. Then take the yellow away and then touch the yellow again. So every time you take the power you take the power away from your sync wire, the yellow, and then touch it again, it'll go back, it'll it'll change the group that it's in. So simultaneous on both of them. We're in group two. Let's put it back to group one here. I'll put the yellow on top so I can pull it off. So in group two, pull the wire off, touch it, We're back in group one. Okay? So now in some people like to mount their strobe and then group them and then wire them all up synced. Um, some people like to, before mounting any of their strobes, sit here and apply power to them on the bench like this and group them all beforehand. And then all you have to do is just run all your wires and connect them all and sync them all together. Uh, you don't actually have to do anything to sync them, you just have to connect all the yellow wires together so they can communicate with each other. Even on your group two, so you, so let's say you have group ones, a couple that are group one, a couple that are group two. They still all need to be connected so they can communicate with each other with the yellow wire. You connect, yes, the group ones with the group twos with your s yellow sync wire, and that's they s will all communicate, and then that will allow them to dance back and forth from group one to group two. All right, so here's the pylon that we just had to put a traffic advisor light bar on instead. So I had to switch out, switch out the pylon, or and the light bar. Well, I just switched out the entire assembly, put it on another truck. We rewired a whole new pylon and set up for this truck with the fold down brackets here that I showed you in another video while I was assembling it. We got the traffic advisor, same light bar, just has traffic advisor in it. It's a Wayland Justice. We got all our three quarter bullet lights in here clear ambers so now with one of those strobes I showed you we're gonna have to put a strobe here strobe on the other side and we're gonna put a strobe down here we're gonna put a strobe on the tailboard right up in here too and they're all gonna be synced dancing back and forth and whatnot I'm about to do that now I'll show you guys how to mount those and sync them all
So on the rear we grouped, this is group two, along with the side of the tunnel box up there is group two. So these will flash in sync with each other. And then this is a group one. So vice versa over here. This is a group one as well. And this is a group two. And the one on the tunnel box up there is a group two. So these will flash in sync. So the group twos on the outside of the truck the outside of the truck will flash in sync together and it'll alternate to the inside. So it'll go outside, inside, outside, inside on both sides. So it'll go from both sides, outside, inside, outside, inside. It'll look sweet from the rear like that. All right, now we're gonna install the strobes on the grill here. Cut to the time lapse.
grill, as you can see here. We've got the grill back on. We leave this right here so they can apply power to this with a power probe or if they want to just cut a section of wire, run it from their battery right here, right to this to jump it. That'll just change the flash pattern while the strobes are on. So we got them grouped corner to corner. Group twos, group ones, so they'll dance back and forth, kitty corner. And then this will just change the flash pattern for for all of them if they ever want to. So we just kind of leave that out there for them. The next thing is connecting all the wires on the strobes that we did on the tailboard back here. And this one right here. All the ones on the tailboard back here. We gotta wire all those up and then run them all to our J-Box in there. Okay, so we got the strobes turned on. The power up inside is what they're wired to. We got them turned on, so they're locked on right now. Put them to a, a flash pattern where they're just on all the time. So I got my power probe here again. We got the sink wire left out here that I showed you previously. So all we do is just supply power to it. See, we got them dancing back and forth. So we're just going through the flash patterns right now. We like the one that's uh, a bunch of flashes really fast. Oh, I think we missed it. <laughs> Let's go back to it. So these are like group ones, group twos. That's how we get them to do that. There it is. Hey guys, so this is the power up I was talking about when I had all the strobes wired to it. I said, so I got the seat out of the Dodge right now. Got the, got the passenger seat out. So I mount this underneath it, bring the wires up through the floor here. So this is what controls all our functions. We got a six switch panel. Each function goes to a post and they all have a refuse and a relay for every single function. Uh, we can have other functions on here like a PTO alarm for our PTO button, um, many other things too. Um, but I'll bring you another install video of this too. So check in the description for the link on this. I'll bring you an install video on this soon. Uh, let me show you the keypad too real quick just so you can get an idea. We mounted it on the driver's side on their left side this time. So that's what the keypad looks like right there. Sometimes we mount it right here below the cubby. So check back soon for the link in the description uh, for this install. But anyways. Okay, so now we'll do the, the rear back half of the truck. I got them all locked on again too, but these should be group ones and these are group twos. So we got the rear tailboard will flash in sync and this one and the one up on the tunnel box will flash together too. So they'll alternate from the inside to outside on both sides. Same thing with the front. I just have my sink wires all together hanging out of my J-Bond, so I just gotta put the supply power in my power front. There's that one, so you can see. We're gonna dance back and forth. The ones are together. So we got the flash pattern changed. As you can see, we got the tunnel box and the tailboard in sync together at the same time. And then the tailboard is flashing independently. But you can see we got both the tailboards are going at the same time. And then the sides. Yeah, it's like that on both sides that up. Now it's funny, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. They're actually flashing so fast that it looks like it's a bleak little three flash pattern, but it's actually flashing like four or five times really fast. It looks totally different on film.
But, yep, so that's how you do it.